Hey everybody, this is Scott. Welcome back to Fillbridge Farms. This is where we fix things, we build things, and we grow things. Today I'm going to call this a, a fixing thing. Uh, I'm going to fix my electric bill. This is a little electric heater. We use it all the time. Let me rephrase that. We use it once in a while. Um, and I've always kind of wondered how much power it actually uses. So I picked up one of these guys from Harbor Freight. But they're also available on Amazon. I'll leave the link below. <laughs> it's called the Kilowatt. And once you plug it in to the wall with the device that you want to measure, there's a volts and amps and uh, wattage and um, hertz and kilowatts per hour. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug my space heater into the into this guy. I'm going to plug this into the wall, and then I'm going to leave it run for one hour, and then it will tell me how many kilowatts per hour this little guy uses. And if you go to electric bill. Then you can figure out how many kilowatts per hour you're paying for. I'm sorry, how much you're paying per kilowatt hour. Do a little multiplication and bingo, bango. You know how much this thing costs to run for an hour. So I got my timer. I'm going to set it for 60 minutes. And before I do plug it in, I want to look at the back of this guy. Just see what, it, what the ratings are. So it says that it is 1,500 watts. Uh, doesn't say how many amps. So when I plug it in here, I'm actually going to find out how many amps it's going to be, too. So we're going to unplug her. We're going to plug it into this guy, the kilowatt. We're going to plug the kilowatt into the wall. So it automatically goes to 120 volts. So you know there's 120 volts flowing through the outlet into the, uh, into the plug. And amps is going to be zero right now. Actually, it's 0 0.01, probably for this little light. So I just turned it on. The amps are jumping up. Actually, let's I'm gonna show you guys it. Show you guys that thing jumping up. So 0 0.33 amps is just the fan running. So let's turn on the heater, the heating element, and let's see how many amps it jumps up to. So it might jump up quickly to get the heating element running and then slowly go back down. So we're right around 12. We're gonna say 11.75-ish uh, running with the, with the element going. So now what we're gonna do, if you wanna see the volts, I hit volts. It's running 115 volts. 11.78 amps at this point. So on the back of the heater, it said 1,500 watts. And we're actually running at 1,359, 1,360 watts. Hertz, that's coming from the, from the grid. So we're at 60 hertz coming from the grid. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push this button. And I'm also going to hit my timer. For one hour. We'll come back in one hour and we'll see how many kilowatts per hour we've used. Who needs a time machine? This is my time machine. Okay, so we did our hour long test and for one hour we used 1.39 kilowatt hours. And so I went to my electric bill to find out what it is per kilowatt hour right now. And I took the total dollar amount and I just divided it by the kilowatt hours that we used. And we're using, we're spending point, uh, 21 cents per kilowatt hour. 21 cents per kilowatt hour. So 1.39 times the 0.21 kilowatt hours, that means it cost me uh, 29 cents to run this thing for an hour. Um, so if I want to run it for five hours, we're looking at $1.45, $1.46 to run it for five hours. So $1.50, let's just round it up and say $1.50 to run it for five hours. Um, so that's how we figured it out. Uh, handy little tool, the kilowatt tool, plug it in the wall here. Again, it's super easy. You don't need to be an electrician to figure it out. Um, plus it, another way you could think you can use it for is, uh, if a breaker keeps tripping, if a breaker keeps tripping, you know, you could use this to plug it in to all the different things in that circuit. 
and you could figure out how many amps are being pulled on that circuit. If you have a 15 amp breaker, if you have a 10 amp breaker, that's probably why, or if you have a 20 amp breaker and you're pulling, I couldn't put two of these on a 20 amp breaker, right? Because this was pulling, what did I find out? 12, 13 amps, something like that. Times two, you're talking at 26, 24 amps. It would be popping the breaker every single time. So anyway, <clears throat> just a neat little tool. If you like what you see, hit that subscribe button and we'll see you on the next one.